considering a movement monitor for your infant in 2021? We considered more than 20 for our roundup of top 2021 contenders we purchased for testing to help you determine the right monitor for your needs. For some parents, a movement monitor provides peace of mind for a better night's sleep by helping to limit their fears of sudden infant death syndrome SIDS. Movement monitors track the baby's breathing movements and while movement monitors don't claim to prevent SIDS, a reliable monitor can provide peace of mind. Remember safe sleep guidelines should always be followed with every sleep to help reduce the risk of SIDS. The first product on our list is Snoozer Go. The Snoozer Go is a budget-friendly wearable that clips to the front of your baby's diaper with a flexible sensor that rests on the infant's abdomen. This top-scoring product is easy to use and travels well with no additional components or complicated setups to worry about. This unit has a simple design that requires no special crib modifications or environment alterations, giving parents that straight-out-of-the-box satisfaction you can't find in the sensor pad style monitor. The Go doesn't have a parent unit, and the loud nursery alarm can cause unnecessary upset for the baby or potentially go unheard by those outside the nursery. This can be half remedied by combining it with a sound monitor to gain a parent unit to ensure you hear the alarm. Some parents also feel that the battery life is too short, and replacements are challenging to locate. Still, the lower price and portability of the Go can offset this potential problem if you have budget or portability on your brain. Like most other movement products, the Go isn't that useful for older babies on the move, as this can result in false alarms, so it has a limited lifespan. Overall, this monitor has a very reasonable price for a straightforward unit that works for younger infants and is perfect for traveling. The next product on our list is BabySense 7. The BabySense 7 is a sensor pad monitor that works under the crib mattress. It is easy to use and works well with minimal preparation and setup. This monitor has a straightforward control unit that goes on the crib's front and receives data from the two pads under the crib and sounds the alarm, with red lights, if your infant stops moving after a designated period. The BabySense 7 is one of the most reliable movement options in our tests, with fewer false alarms than the competition. It operates on AA batteries to decrease the potential for accidental strangulation from product cords. Unlike wearable monitors, this option continues to work reasonably well even after your baby is mobile, up to one year old. Like all mattress sensors we've tested, the BabySense 7 requires that the mattress is housed on a hard surface board to function properly. It is also one of the most expensive options in this review. Because the alarm sounds in the nursery and not on the parent unit, it isn't the right choice if you want a parent device. Overall, this movement choice is easy to use and works well for a longer period than much of the competition, thanks to the two sensor pads. We believe most families will appreciate the simplicity and fewer false alarms with this unit and can always add a video or sound monitor as desired. The next product in our list is Owlet Smart Sock 3. The Owlet Smart Sock 3 is an app-enabled wearable grate for families who want more information on what is happening with their baby and inside the baby's nursery. This wearable attaches via a sock-shaped slip-on that baby wears on their foot. It is easy to attach and fits better than previous versions of the sock. We like the app you pair with your device and feel the user interface is relatively intuitive and friendly, especially if you are a frequent app user. The app provides information beyond just movement, including baby zone positions, sleep quality, heart rate, oxygen saturation, room temperature, and more. It is portable, making it an excellent choice for travel, and it has less EMF than some of the competing app-enabled wearables in this review. The Owlet 3 has less EMF than version 2, but it is still more than other wearables like the Snoozer Go or Lavana Oma. So you'll need to determine if the advantages are worth the extra EMF it creates right on the baby's foot. The Owlet setup is also more convoluted than other wearables, and while not hard, it does have more steps than the clip-style wearables that don't require an app to work. It also is not a medical device and should not be used to treat or monitor any medical condition. 
Overall, we think tech-loving parents will like this monitor and how much information it provides. Many parents will feel the EMF is a worthwhile trade-off for the peace of mind they gain. The next product in our list is Snoozer Hero SE. The Snoozer Hero SE is a clip wearable with a unique vibration feature that gently rouses your baby from sleep, so they move, theoretically breathe, to stop the vibrating alarm before the audible alarm kicks in. This product is the only monitor we reviewed with this useful rousing feature. We like the simplicity of this wearable and the increased ability to use it away from home as it doesn't require a specialized setup or mattress like the sensor pads. This clip can be uncomfortable for some little ones, and it doesn't work well if your baby is old enough to roll over or crawl as the sensor can dislodge or lose contact. This unit also has no parent device, so if the vibration doesn't rouse the baby, an audible alarm erupts directly from the clip attached to your child, and you may not hear it if you aren't close enough. If you don't hear the signal, it will continue to alert, which could unnecessarily upset little ones. Some parents didn't like the shorter battery life, while others experienced false alarms when the clip lost contact with the baby's belly. However, if you travel frequently or want a monitor that stimulates the baby into movement before the alarm goes off, a unique feature in our experience, then the Snoozer Hero is an excellent choice. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.